Hey guys, Level Cap here, and the moment of truth is nearly upon us. DICE just released a teaser trailer for the Pacific update for Battlefield 5. This update for many people is considered the last bastion of hope for the game. People who have abandoned Battlefield 5 since launch are saying, if the Pacific is awesome, I'll come back. If the Pacific sucks, I'm abandoning this game forever. This is the baby that will save the marriage, if you will. Uh, it, everything, so much is riding on the Pacific DLC for Battlefield 5. And we've got a, a small teaser trailer here that shows us a little bit, and it announces that the full trailer for the Pacific content is dropping on the 23rd, 6 a.m. Pacific time. So uh, if you're interested in this content, be sure to mark that date on the calendar. Get ready. Of course, I'll be covering any sort of content or details that come out about it. Also, there's been enough Twitter evidence collected by various members of the Battlefield community to suggest that a bunch of Battlefielders are in Stockholm right now playing and or capturing content for the new Pacific expansion. Of course, this is not confirmed, but if you look at the evidence out there of how many people just happen to be going to Stockholm right now, uh, one could draw the conclusion that yes, since this is something that EA does regularly, inviting community members out to capture gameplay, for upcoming content, this is almost certainly what's happening right now. And hopefully that's a good thing. It should mean that the content is finished enough to allow people to capture gameplay of it and use that as promotional material. That means DICE hopefully won't be waiting to the last second to try and get everything put in place and finished up and polished up because that seems to have been the state of Battlefield 5 so far. Everything's just made it out the door at the last second and is barely functional and playable when it comes out. Hopefully the Pacific DLC will be more polished if they're showing it to media content producers early. Now, in terms of what we learned from this teaser here, obviously it's very short, so there's not a huge amount of information, but we do see an aircraft carrier, a US Navy fleet, including the ship that the main soldier is on. Um, and we get a little bit of a look of some islands behind him. Now, now, uh, these islands could be the Solomon Islands. A data mine from Temporiel uh, revealed a file name called Solomon Islands, and so it could be one of the jungle maps that has been sort of teased and alluded to. I think it's a pretty good guess. I wouldn't be surprised at all if that's what we're looking at in this teaser. And we get a little bit of a look at the US soldier's uniform. Now, of course, uniforms have been a point of contention for Battlefield 5 because, well, for one, we haven't gotten a lot of actual authentic uniforms for the battles and the locations that have been fought in and instead we've gotten a lot of crazy over-the-top cosmetic items so people trying to play a game that looks and feels more realistic have been a bit upset by this and again in the teaser trailer uh, according to reddit anyway it seems like the helmet that the soldier is wearing might actually be a vietnam era helmet with a vietnam helmet cover um, I don't know, maybe this was used in the Pacific Theater and maybe it just made its way over to Vietnam as well, but um, some people seem to think that it is not actually an era appropriate helmet. Now tucked into the band on the helmet is a folded up map where you can see Japan highlighted there. Probably not the most realistic map for a soldier to actually have in battle. It's like, especially if you're at the Solomon Islands, it's like, guys, did we... Do we take a left back where we're supposed to take a right? I don't think this is Japan at all. But uh, the point of it is to show that, yes, this is the Pacific DLC. We will be fighting the Japanese. It'll be Americans versus Japanese. And the map is just to further emphasize that point, regardless of how silly it might be for a soldier to actually just have a map uh, with Japan highlighted on it. And of course, if you want to nitpick the proximity of an aircraft carrier to these islands and all that other stuff is super unrealistic and whatnot. But clearly this trailer is just trying to get a bunch of stuff in there to see that it's going to be in the Pacific content and so to get ready for that. People are also grabbing data from YouTube and it appears that the trailer 
for the Pacific. The full trailer should be about three minutes, 32 seconds long. That does seem like a very long trailer. Maybe it is an extremely long trailer. Maybe there's a little dev commentary. Maybe there's a lot of intro outro content there. Again, uh, we don't know for sure what all that means. There was also a thumbnail grabbed from this trailer that shows a Japanese soldier inside of what appears to be some caves. Uh, we do know that there were caves on many of these islands, tunnel networks and whatnot. So it could be Iwo Jima, could be some of the other maps, but that should add some interesting variety to the gameplay for sure if there are some underground areas. Also, according to a Temporal data mine, it seems like waves might be coming back for operations. Now, if you remember how operations played out in Battlefield 1, there were multiple attacking waves. And if uh, the attacking team could not break through on the first wave, another wave would start and they would get reinforcements, usually some vehicles, maybe a behemoth, maybe some elite classes to try and help them push through for the next wave. This was a fun and successful mechanic for operations and uh, many people were actually pretty disappointed with grand operations in Battlefield 5 throwing in sort of a mixture of random game modes and then all of a sudden there's supposed to be sort of this survival mode at the end which rarely 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 triggers. Ultimately grand operations was seen as a major downturn for that game mode in Battlefield 5. So perhaps, and this uh, is according to Temporal's theory um, from Reddit, uh, DICE might be working on a Grand Operations rework where they're bringing waves back and a few other features maybe what from what made the original Operations successful. So that would certainly be a welcome change. I really enjoyed Operations from Battlefield 1. So if they can try and replicate that success for Battlefield 5, that would be fantastic. So on Wednesday, we're getting the full Pacific trailer in the morning. On Thursday, there's a new content kind of update weekly challenge stuff coming out, which should unlock that anti-air rocket launcher, that soldier carried anti-air rocket launcher potentially. Um, and then on Friday, we're getting the new Call of Duty game. So there's a lot going on over the next couple days this week uh, in terms of the first person shooter world. Hopefully Call of Duty doesn't overcast any sort of fun Pacific news for Battlefield 5, but We'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about this Pacific content. Are you excited for it? Could you care less? What's the general sentiment out there? And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.